okay students uh, now in this video lecture we want to discuss the polar form of a complex number okay uh, as you people are aware that any polar uh, sorry any complex number uh, it is expressed like this okay z equal to x plus iota y now this is called the cartesian form this is called cartesian form of a complex number okay and uh, this complex number in the plane it is represented like this that uh, here we have p point which is uh, given by this p x y okay it means that uh, here x distance is this and y distance is this okay so in order to reach to this point p okay we traveled some x distance and then we traveled y distance okay now is there any way to uh, find the direct distance uh, of this point p uh, from the origin yes okay so you see that that this is called the direct distance okay and it is denoted by r okay and this is a right angle triangle so here the angle is 90 and suppose that that this line makes an angle theta with the x axis okay now we know that that in trigonometry we have six members sine cos tan cot secant and cosecant okay now here we use this rule p b p h h p okay uh, this is uh, remember like this pandit p mean pandit b mean badri p mean prasad h mean har har bole okay so you remember this rule like this pandit badri prasad har har bole now so suppose that that i want to find the value of cos theta now cos theta is what cos theta is b by h okay b by h so b by h uh, what is b base of uh, this triangle is x and h is r okay so x value uh, this is equal to r cos theta okay? this is r cos theta so x is it is completely dependent on uh, cos theta okay I mean r cos theta okay now sin theta what is sin theta sin theta is p by h okay so p mean perpendicular which is y and h is hypotenuse which is r so value of y is r sin theta okay so you see that that you are this complex number okay uh, it now takes this form z equal to z equal to a uh, value of x is r cos theta and value of y is r sin theta okay so here you can take r common uh, and it is cos theta plus iota sin theta okay so this is called the this is called the polar form polar form of a complex number okay so uh, in general whenever you are asked that that find the polar form of the complex number uh, then you write it like this r cos theta plus iota sin theta okay now uh, after this okay what we want to do we want to find the value of r okay so for this purpose what you do squaring and adding 1 and 2 so what do you get x square plus y square this is equal to r cos theta square plus r sin theta square so x square plus y square take r square common from here so it is cos square theta cos square theta plus sin square theta now cos square theta plus sin square theta which is equal to 1 so r square is x square plus y square so what is the r value r value is 
square root of x square plus y y square. Okay. So whenever you are asked that find the value of r, okay, uh, in that case you use this formula, which is very very important. Okay. Now what you do after this? Divide second equation by the first equation. Okay. Divide your second equation by the first equation. Now when you do so, okay, then what do you get? Uh, second equation is r sin theta. And the first equation is r cos theta. Okay. So it is equal to y by x. So sin by cos is what? Sin by cos is tan theta. Okay. Uh, tan theta, this is equal to y by x. Or we can say that, that theta equal to tangent inverse y by x. Okay. So whenever you are asked to find the value of theta, okay, uh, in that case you use this formula, tangent inverse y by x. Uh, but the problem here is this, that uh, uh, sometime this complex number it may be in the first quadrant or it may be in the second quadrant or it may be in the third quadrant or it may be in the fourth quadrant okay so accordingly we need to find this angle theta here uh, this this is the general value of theta okay I mean you we use this formula but if uh, our angle it is in the second quadrant or third quadrant or in fourth quadrant then the method of uh, finding this angle it changes completely okay so uh, what you do then uh, you know that that uh, in uh, this first quadrant okay uh, i mean x value okay it is positive okay and y value it is also positive okay why because x uh, uh, actually it is equal to r cos theta okay and y it is equal to r sin theta as as you are in the first quadrant so this x value is positive and this y value it is also positive so uh, this positive we mean that that cos theta is positive because r is always positive okay and sin theta is positive okay so here in the first quadrant we can say that that the cos theta is positive and sin theta it is also positive okay but in the second quadrant what is happening see this x value it is negative okay because it is on the left hand side so x is negative and y is positive because uh, here this is the height okay so y is positive so x negative mean that cos theta is negative and here sin theta it is positive okay now in the third quadrant x is negative and y is also negative so ultimately uh, cos is negative and sin theta it is also negative okay so whenever cos value is, is negative and sin it is negative uh, okay uh, it uh, represents that that uh, your angle it is in the third quadrant okay and in the fourth quadrant x is positive but y is negative okay x positive mean cos theta is positive and sin theta it is negative okay so if you you uh, check that that your x value and y value both these are positive it means that theta it is in the first quadrant and in that case we apply this formula tangent inverse mod y by x okay and when cos is negative sign is positive in that case we apply this formula pi minus uh, tangent inverse mod y by x okay mod makes uh, any negative sign positive okay and if your angle it is in the third quadrant then we use this formula minus pi plus uh, tangent inverse mod y by x okay and for this we use uh, this formula minus tangent inverse mod y by x okay why it is like this because theta it uh, always lies between uh, minus pi to y okay so that is why we are finding our theta like this so remember one thing that if x and y both are positive then your angle it is in the first quadrant if x is negative y is positive it means that angle is in the second quadrant and use this formula and if x is negative y is negative then use this formula and if x uh, is negative y is ne x is ne positive and y is negative then use this formula okay so you people uh, so far I mean, remember these things okay for solving the question more about it will be discussed in the next video lecture Thank you very much.